Hey guys, welcome to Songwriter Secrets. My name is Garrett. You also might know me as the lead singer of Missing Signs. Anyway, today I want to talk about something that's plagued songwriters for years, hundreds of years actually, and this is writer's block. So we don't really know what causes writer's block. I mean, some might say it's obvious, oh, you know, you're at a rut, you don't have any inspiration. Sometimes you do have inspiration, but for some reason you just can't get it on the page or, you know, into your notes or, you know, you can't figure out a way to, to play it into your song. So this might be a little bit of a long video because it's something that it's, it bothers me and it bothers a lot of musicians. So the first way out of three, this is a three part video. The first way to beat writer's block is to have a new experience. And I think that that comes as obvious to some people, but not so obvious to other people. You can't really just be doing, you know, the same things that you do every day and expect to write innovative and unique songs. I mean, you can, maybe you're the type of person who you're inspired by your day-to-day -day life and that's all you need really to be inspired. But I'd say most songwriters, they need to keep an influx of new, fresh material coming in in the form of experiences, whether you're going to an amusement park or whether you're going to a haunted house or whether you're just hanging out with friends or whether you're going for a walk out in the woods by yourself. You gotta have new experiences if you plan on making new material really that's what i believe at least you know and feel free to disagree with me in the comments section you know of the youtube channel or, or the instagram wherever feel free to disagree with me if you think i'm wrong but this is what i believe through my years of songwriting that new experiences breeds new songs so that's the first one the second one is coming into contact with somebody from your past so sometimes going out and having new experiences might not make you feel nostalgic, you know, that might make you feel excited or it might generate some new ideas, but it's not going to help you on a song that maybe you're writing that, you know, you're, you're digging deep into your soul for this one. So call up a friend or text a friend that you know from your childhood or from other parts of your life, you know, from, from the past and try to try to see them, you know. Try to go do something that you guys used to do that makes you feel happy or, or nostalgic or special. And I, I think that that may help dislodge some of the, the writer's block that you might be experiencing just from reminding yourself of who you are. And that really brings us to the third way to beat writer's block, and that is to go to a familiar and safe, happy place and that isn't your house. Because your house is almost too familiar and safe and happy. We're talking about some place that you may have cried at before or some place that reminds you of a huge life event. You know, and if you take a friend from the past there, then that's even a double whammy. There you go. You can do two at once. But anyway, going to this old place, I believe that old places have old magic. Places that meant something to you in the past likely still mean something to you in, in the present. And like I said in the last part, it dislodges... These, this writer's block that you might have where you might be second-guessing yourself or saying, oh, man, is this too hard? Should I give up? Uh, this song isn't coming out as good at first as my last song did, and my last song was so good. Maybe I can't top that. Maybe I, I peaked. It's just it's it's not the right type of attitude that you want for success. You have to always be pushing yourself. And writer's block is one of the worst things you can experience as a songwriter, truly, because it's one of those things where we as human beings love to predict the ending of things we like to watch movies and predict the ending we like to listen to songs and predict the ending but you know when you're writing a song it's hard to predict the ending when you don't even know what's coming yet it's out in the ether it's just an idea so anyway those are the three ways to beat writer's block and i'll give you one even last tip one big tip while you're doing these things while you're having new experiences while you're visiting old friends and while you're visiting old places you want to be thinking of keywords, whether you're thinking in your head or whether it just comes up in conversation. Keywords that that mean something to you that are special, because those are going to end up being your best lyrics. Are are keywords that you you know overheard from somebody that's walking by you on a telephone or something your your friend will say and didn't even realize that it was it was you know it was interesting or it it has like some kind of magic to it. So keywords are are everything when it comes to to lyrics, really. All right, guys, so make sure to like, subscribe, and follow so uh, that all your other friends can benefit from this material. And this was Songwriter Secrets. Thank you.